hi today's video is on is to remove your fear about and uh, astrological prediction and uh, what uh, remedies and all most of the time astrology is not about remedy but it is about happening it is ab about the planetary conjunction it is about dasha and the dasha it is about trans uh, transit and all planetary transit and all okay so don't get scared and don't run after astrologer astrologers uh, changing one astrologer to another to get some remedy so that the trouble get sorted it is better to get tuned to that particular dasha and the dasha or transit if uh, like ketu is moving through your fourth house it might be possible quite possible it might be possible that you will gain something so ketu is very whimsical it can give you something but there is maximum chance that you can lose your home maximum chance you can lose your happiness and car and so many things so you have to get accustomed with that feeling that this is the time when i'm going to get going to lose i may lose few things ketu is going through 11th house so not only ketu you can consider uh, saturn saturn is swakhetri moving through your 11th house you may gain something which you were expecting since long but your own saturn is sitting somewhere retrograde so when saturn is moving through your 11th house and getting retrograde that is the time when you can get some better result okay then your dasha is of saturn you are very scared the saturn dasha and your saturn is in 10th but debilitated okay now you are very scared what is going to happen your gemini ascendant and your saturn is debilitated sorry your cancer ascendant and saturn is debilitated in 10th and you are very much scared that what is going to happen during the saturn and the dasha you might lose job your salary is same but your responsibility will increase you will work really very hard and after that also you will not get any appreciation and saturn uh, dasha mahadasha is not for a short time period also so you have to tolerate all those things so you have to get accustomed with i have to tolerate everything now about remedies you know that saturn does not uh, like many kind of like celebration enjoyment and all those things so you have to you have to clean your toilet because it is saturn dasha and the dasha on regular basis clean your toilet you can take care or uh, take care of some poor people your servant is there you can take charge of medicine bill and all those things you might say no i will not do so these are the remedies for saturn you will do for downtrodden people you can do for stray animals you can do for uh, someone who is very poor and needy very old crippled beat animal beat human and you will do all that dirty menial jobs like cleaning toilet kind of thing because you you might think that no i am holding a very high position in office so i am not going to get not going to clean toilet or not going to serve very very, very poor and needy and stray animals and all those things mm, it is against my uh, prestigious position in my office and all those things don't do that don't at all do that because saturn love you when you are doing all these work which are not suitable to your job at all and are very lowly but saturn will enjoy saturn will bless you if you do all these kind of things so if you are cancer ascendant and saturn is 10th lord uh, sorry saturn is sitting in 10th debilitated then please think where is most of the time it is always being said okay it is saturn dasha and saturn is debilitated in 10th it is very difficult for your job but you will see that mars mars is exalted in your 7th so that might be the time during saturn dasha when you have lost job or you you have not lost job you are doing job 
with the same salary the pay hike is less but work responsibility increases nobody appreciates you you are feeling very lonely and you are doing all many else job and all these things but that dispositor of saturn which is mars is exalted in 7 of cancer ascendant okay then what is going to happen then your spouse will be you will fight a lot with your spouse but your spouse will be supportive also may be possible that spouse will be very supportive you might say it was in ramchandra's uh, horoscope also that uh, in the seventh place exalted mars was sitting and they definitely had very 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 painful life okay get it aside now you have seen the dispositor in your horoscope your dispositor is uh, very pleasantly placed and all those things now next thing which you have to consider is consider your dasha lord dasha dasha uh, lord or dasha planet as ascendant and look at the triangle of 159 okay so if your saturn is debilitated in 10th house then what is there in uh another like leo what which planet do you have in leo which planet do you have in sagittarius let's consider your sagittarius is having jupiter swakhetri and your leo is having sun swakhetri which is almost impossible that two more planets are so nicely placed but it might be possible then saturn is debilitated but during the saturn dasha you are doing all those remedies of menial job and serving everyone and all those things and at the same time saturn you are considering as ascendant and you are having in the triangle fifth and ninth place position you are getting swakhetri jupiter and swakhetri sun definitely saturn might be debilitated but your result of, of saturn might not be very bad okay because it is activating fifth house and ninth house also okay so this way you can read dasha and the dasha of a uh, dasha and the dasha of any particular planet so it can be uh, dasha and and the dasha saturn dasha and might be the and the dasha is um, jupiter and the dasha and then jupiter is in trine with saturn so saturn and jupiter will activate each other and all those things so there are so many complicated things and I, I have not considered in this uh, video. I have not considered about who is giving uh, drishti to whom and which one is karaka for whom and uh, karaka for which work and uh, all these kind of thing. Even the simplest thing. One first thing is dispositor. Look at the dispositor, and second thing is which planets are sitting in the trine. If like. Uh, like in sagittarius jupiter is sitting it's very good but in sagittarius someone is sitting which is not healthy to jupiter which does not have any good relationship with jupiter like saturn is sitting there sorry saturn is already debilitated like mercury venus anything is sitting there which is not comfortable in jupiter's house okay so these are the easiest ways my client is calling easiest ways to uh, judge dashantha dashabai have a nice time